Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week 9 of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. Today we are going to be crocheting our way across the province of Alberta, one of the western provinces of Canada. And for this uh, piece of the blanket this week, I have selected the beautiful star stitch uh, as the pattern. So for this project, you are going to need a little bit of worsted weight yarn. In my blanket, I used an off-white color. You will also need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. For a complete list of materials, as well as the written instructions for this video tutorial, you will find them for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I will have the direct links for you in the note. Uh, notes of this video so you will find them below while you're here please be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel which i like to update weekly and uh, bring you free crochet patterns and tutorials and more crochet alongs uh, thank you so much and let's get started now the star stitch is a very fun stitch to work. It creates a nice solid fabric with a subtle texture, but one that has this beautiful design worked into it. So if you don't get the hang of it at first, uh, don't give up, keep trying. And I'm sure you'll love this stitch as much as I do by the time uh, you get the hang of it. Now in this pattern, uh, I begin my chain with 201 chains to get my panel the size that I would like it. If you are changing the size of your panel from the one that I have listed in the exact pattern, you are going to need an odd number of chain stitches, uh, which will result in an even number of stitches in the end. So overall you need an even number of stitches, but because you'll be starting your first stitch in the second chain, you're going to begin by chaining an odd number. Today for the tutorial, I'm only going to be giving you a small swatch of the design, so I'm going to start by chaining 21. I have made my slip knot, and I'm going to work a quick chain of 21 stitches. And then I'm going to work my first row by simply placing a single crochet stitch in the second chain from my hook, and then in each stitch all the way across. So in the end, for my swatch, I will have a total of 20 stitches. If you are working again the pattern, as written, you will start with a starting chain of 201 stitches, which means after row one, you will have a total of 200 single crochet stitches. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one. Uh, you're going to turn your work. And then for row two, you are going to start by chaining three. So one, two, three. Now for row two, we are going to begin making our star stitches. How we are going to do that is to make our first star stitch, we are going to draw up a loop in each of the second and the third chains from your hook. So one in the second chain and one in the third chain. I will then draw up a loop in each of the first three stitches. One. So the first stitch is at the base of that starting chain, two, and three. 
you will then see that you have six loops on your hook. So to complete your star stitch, you will yarn over, pull through all six loops on your hook, and then you're going to chain one just to pull that star stitch tight. You can see it there for me. That is your first star stitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my work. I'm going to show you that one more time. So you've turned your work. You're going to start by chaining three. One, two, three. You will work your first star stitch by inserting your hook in that second chain from your hook and drawing up a loop and then inserting it again in the third chain from your hook and drawing up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Now you're going to draw up a loop in each of the first three stitches. So beginning with the stitch at the base of your chain three, you're going to draw up one loop. Then the next stitch, insert your hook, draw up a loop. And in the third stitch, insert your hook and draw up a loop. Once you have six loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through all six loops, and then chain one to make that star stitch nice and tight. And there you have it. That's your first star stitch made. Now, to work your second star stitch, what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook through the eye or the center of that star stitch you just made. So insert your hook through the center of it and you're going to draw up a loop. You're then going to insert your hook through the final spike or the final leg of that previous star stitch. So you're just going to insert your hook underneath the loop of that final leg and you're going to draw up a stitch. Now you will work three, uh, pull up three more loops in each of the first uh, of the next three stitches. So starting with a stitch at the base of where your last star stitch was made, you'll insert your hook and draw up a loop and then draw up a loop in each of the next two stitches. Once again, you will have six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through all six of those loops, and chain one to close your star stitch off. You're going to then repeat that all the way across your foundation uh, single crochet row. So you will insert your hook for the next star stitch, insert your hook through the center or the eye of the previous one, drop a loop, insert your hook through the last leg of the previous star stitch, and drop a loop, insert your hook at the base of that star stitch through the top of the single crochet there down below, and then insert your hook and drop a loop in each of the next two stitches. Once you have six loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through all six, chain one to close your star stitch. You will now have made three star stitches. And again, you're going to repeat. Draw up a loop through the center of the star stitch previously, another loop through the leg, another loop at the base, and then in the, each of the next two stitches with six loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. Make one more chain one to finish your stitch. So continue to do that all the way across your work and when you come to the end you are going to work one half double crochet in the very last stitch. Complete your star stitches all the way across and I'll show you that when you get to the end. So I am now working my final star stitch in that row. I'm making my chain one to close it up nice and tight. Because I only have one more stitch left here, I'm simply going to work one half double crochet 
in that final stitch. And that is the end of row two. And you will see your star stitches all nicely lined up there all the way across. For row three, you are going to chain one and you're going to turn. Now what you're going to do is you are going to work two half double crochet stitches in through the eye of each of the uh, star stitches in the row below. So the eye is kind of that circular hole there that you will see where you made your chain one. So you're going to work two half double crochet stitches in each of those eyes all the way across. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, and work one half double crochet and two half double crochets. So do that in each one all the way across. When you come to your final stitch in that row, you are simply going to work one half double crochet in the last stitch. So again, work two half double crochets in each eye in each star stitch all the way across. So you're going to come to your last turning chain there, just in the top of it, work one final half double crochet stitch. And that's going to bring you back to the beginning. Then you're going to turn your work and now you're simply going to repeat rows two and three. So the row two is the one that started with the chain three and then you're going to start working your star stitches. Just like that all the way across and then row three being that half double crochet row so you're going to repeat rows two and three until your work measures approximately nine inches or a little bit less from the beginning when you come to the end you are going to fasten off your work at the end of nine inches or your desired size and then you will work your round of single crochet edging. I will not show you the edging uh, in this video here. It's the same in each of the panels for this blanket and the written instructions for that can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial and for this crochet along. I hope that you're having as much fun as I am as we travel across Canada together. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.